Hello, it's been so long. Um, really quick, really quick, because I don't want to go into it. I've been gone for so long because I was, one, hanging out with my nephews. My sister had her third son over the summer, and I was taking care of them and helping out. So hanging out with my family and my brother that I never see came to visit. Number two, I moved. I'm in my bathroom right now on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is where there's really good lighting. And I started my new job, first year of teaching art. So that alone has taken up so much of my life. And it's the fourth week that we just finished. And I'm only now feeling like I have a handle on things, I'm caught up. I felt so guilty at first not getting a video out to you, but then I'm like, all of those reasons are obviously very valid. Teaching has been such a priority in my whole life. Like, I have been neglecting a lot of different things. I'm trying to grab back my life and the things that I enjoy to do, and I enjoy doing these videos. So sorry. Thank you so much, everyone, for like being patient. This is my, I didn't even say what this is. This is my pan that slash those palette slash eyeshadows. We are going to begin. I'm just going to jump in, all right? So this is my pan that palette. It's made up of a bunch of ColourPop shadows from different palettes, mostly the Sweet Talk and Chasing Rainbows. And this is what it looks like right now. Lots of changes. So the main changes, I'll just go into that. Also, because of my new teaching job and everything that was going on, not only could I not do videos, but I really couldn't do much makeup, so... But this update is exciting, I promise you. I have hit pan on this one, that's something new. So that's Meadow, I hit pan on Meadow. I hit pan on Meadow on August 31st after five uses that month but 32 uses in total. The other things that have changed is I repressed Wiggles and I repressed this one, Feel Free. Um, Feel Free had completely shattered. I'll show a picture. And luckily it was all like a contained explosion of eyeshadow. So I just repressed that and repressed Wiggles because there was so little product all along the edge that I just want to get at it more easily. Other than that, not much to update. I'm still using blurred lines a lot, so hopefully that pan has expanded. And the other thing is I used Eclipse a ton, and it's for nails. So my nails are pretty chipped right now, but that shadow turns into kind of like this on the fingernails. And I have been doing that a lot because I've been so busy for my new job. I don't want to wake up at like 5.30 a.m. to get ready the way I want to. But what I can do is do my nails at night before I go to work. I use this a lot just because it's neutral and when it does chip, it's not the most noticeable thing. I want to finish this one up because I have like several dupes in my collection is the main reason. But yeah, everything else is like slow going, this is slow going, this is slow going, this one's also slow going. But I get consistent use of wiggles, blurred lines, prism for my eyebrows. That's my Panda palette. Thank you, sweet rainbows. I have six shadows in my project and I always start from the least amount of uses to the most. The one I use the least is from Juvia's Place, The Tribe. And this is so long ago, so I don't remember the looks I did or anything like that. But I know I hit pan on this one because of nails as well. So look at that huge pan for Kuba. Kuba was a beautiful nail polish. I loved it. If I have a photo, I'll show it. But it was a really pretty nail polish. I would love to do it more. I hit pan on it after two uses and ten in total to hit pan. But then I used it again for my nails, so it comes out to being three uses that past update and 11 uses in total to get a pan this size. Yeah, it just took so long for me to hit pan because this shadow 
on my eyes fell out a lot, even with a glitter glue. And even if I was being really careful, the fallout was just insane. So I just started to use it on my nails and that's how we got this. I get to swatch things. I'm gonna remember to swatch things now. Yay me. It's like a very pretty color, but I can have that pretty color on my nails and not falling out on my cheeks. Like it's a shame that this formula isn't better because I would love this shadow. That's Kuba, so happy. So that rolls out. Look at that, oh my God. I wanna like put, I want to put it all over my face is what the sensation that I'm feeling right now. Like the urge is that I want it on my face, which is not a good feeling to have. Like I just don't like that urge right now. The next one we're going to talk about is Stargaze from Celestial Storm by Dominique Cosmetics. And I used it three times this past update and eight times in total. I did not hit pan. Stargaze also is fallouty, but not like Kuba. When it falls out, it's much easier to sweep away, but I just don't gravitate towards blue like that. I only used it three times, and during those three uses, it was really minimal use, so we'll see when I hit pan on that. A lot of you had really good suggestions on how to use this shadow, and I really want to do those suggestions. You said to try it on a dark base, and I really want to do that. I kind of tried to do that with a dark purple, um, but then the look just like failed. I'll show it if I can. There's Stargaze. More of like a toppery shadow, but really cute too. You see? Cute, cute. We will talk about this next shadow from the e.l.f. J. Kissa palette, To the Rescue. This one just rolled in last update, it's cannoli. All you can really see then is that there is some use on the shadow, but I can see more like brush strokes going on, and cannoli is perfectly fine. There's not a lot of use on it because it just rolled in the project. I know this palette gets a lot of flack for its formula, and the formula can be iffy, but cannoli is turning out okay, and it's a really cute color. I like this palette, it just it makes me happy when I look at it, even if the formula isn't that great. But you see, stargaze and cannoli work well together, and I definitely have laid down cannoli and put stargaze on top. So hopefully I get more use out of both of them in the future, but it's just hard for me to gravitate towards blue. I keep just wanting to do yellowy looks, but everything in my projects is like, pink and blue and I'm like no the next one we're going to talk about is sunkissed from my ColourPop orange glad palette and I used it five times to get that pan that tiny baby pan five uses this past update 19 uses in total to hit pan it was a bit of a powdery shadow and when I would use it I often used a ton of it to fill up my whole eyelid I'm very happy to hit pan on it. It's a beautiful color, but I have other oranges like this in my collection, I think, and I'd like to get some of those finished up, um, but it was great. I loved having it in my project. That rolls out. Let me just swatch it. I'm on top of the swatching today. Beautiful orange, like the orangiest orange so bright and colorful. These are staying in thus far and these are rolling out. The next one we will talk about. I skipped Amethyst All on accident. Sunkissed I used five times since the past update. Amethyst All I used three times. And there you go, there's Amethyst All. So I used it three times this past update and 15 uses in total. It was a bitch to try to hit pan on. Oh my god, I wanted it out so bad because the formula on this one also isn't great. The color payoff is really bad and it's more of a satiny formula. Also, it blends super bad. I think ever since I started to add water to it to get eyeliner, it might be my fault. I would use this for eyeliner all the time and when I would get water in the pan, I think that's when it no longer could blend with other shadows. Beautiful Halloween-y color story, we already know that. But it's like a Barney purple and it has a bit of a sheen and it couldn't blend 
for shit. Like it really couldn't blend at all. That's why I just limited my usage for it really for eyeliners. But it was a great eyeliner and I got a lot of use out of it. But it was a lot. I'm so glad it's gone. The camera fell, so don't mind me. Kohu came to say hi. <laughs> I opened the door and he ran in here. You're so pretty, my dude. Let me know when you wanna get out, okay? The last shadow we need to talk about is from my Strawberry Dream palette by Lunar Beauty. And it's Horizon up here. And I hit pan too. Even though I didn't use makeup a lot, I hit four pans. So let me swatch it. All my beautiful like Halloween-y shadows are gone. And there's Horizon right there. It's a tiny baby pan, but I'm really happy. This shadow is very pigmented, so I didn't need a lot. But as you can see, it's like this sudden incline into a pan. I was using a small brush to pick up the pigment and put it on my eyelids. I hit pan, I don't know if I was saying the dates. I hit pan on Cuba, August 21st. Meadow, August 31st. Horizon, September 4th. Sun Kiss, that orange shadow on September 5th. And Amethyst Awe on September 17th, okay? Horizon took five uses this past month and 17 uses in total to hit pan. So a lot of uses. I've had it for a good chunk of time and I'm so happy that it's rolled out too, even though I love it. I love it so much. It's a beautiful shadow that can shift into more green looks or more yellow looks because of the tone of it. It can kind of occupy both color stories, which I love about it. Those were my shadows in my project for Panda's eyeshadows. These blues are staying in, which is okay. Blue is not my thing, so they might stay in much longer. And these are rolling out, which are so beautiful. I'm gonna miss them. One thing that I'm still doing is last update and the update before that, I was hand selecting palettes to roll a shadow from, and they were my palettes that either had no pans in them or only one pan. There's several palettes like It's Freaking Bats and Kaleidos' Flower Punk that are newer palettes to me and I don't want them in this project yet. So they aren't rolling into this project at all. But of my older palettes that don't have a pan in them or only have one pan, this one's left. It's the Kaleidos Futurism Neon palette. And so before I roll in any other shadows to replace these, I am going to roll in a shadow from here. So I set up the tablet, minimum one, maximum six, and we're gonna randomize. Four, based off this word, Kaleidos, I'm gonna guess that this is number one. One, two, three, four. So trading uh, orange, a bright orange for another bright orange, but that's what I'm talking about where I have several of these oranges in my collection. I'm gonna swatch it right next to the old Sunkist. It's not, I wouldn't say it's deeper, but it's less yellowy. It's definitely an orange orange. So anyways, I'm fine with it, you know. I'm into the color, I'm into the orange, and there you go. Now I have that one. I don't know what it's called, so I'll put the name up. That's the only shadow I'm gonna pick from a specific palette. The rest of the shadows I'm rolling in, the last three, are gonna be from my whole collection, except for the palettes I don't wanna include, and for pressed glitters, and for the Morphe palette. Don't want to include that one. Because of all my exclusions, I only have 231 shadows to pick from, even though I have more. I have some with pan and more palettes that I'm not including in singles. So we're gonna roll now. That's just doing it again before 101. So there's that one. 171. 102. Okay, 101, 102, and 171. Let's look at what those are. Oh, both are from my Magic Mini, but one is in my A to Z project. 
Do I want to overlap the projects? Literally, they're both in my A to Z project, Boro and Yara, or Boru and Yara. And I really don't want to do that. Those two I'm going to re-roll, but let's see what 171 is. I used to think that I wouldn't mind the two projects overlapping, but now it's like, mm. It's just complicated with like filming things and revealing things and you see the same shadows in multiple videos. I'm like, ugh. Ooh, 171 is Paper Tiger, a ColourPop single. Yes. I know exactly where it is because I just used it in a yellow look. It's Paper Tiger right here. It's one of my singles. This is gonna take forever, but I'm super excited about it. It can work with neutral looks. It can work with yellow looks. Very happy with that one. All right, Paper Tiger is in. And I love getting more use out of my singles for sure. Let me reroll those other two numbers and let's see what we get. So randomize, 184. 32. 32 is squeeze me. Oh my god, what? I don't, look, I swatched the shadow and the pan went away. I need to fix that. I need to do another look with it to make the pan show up again. Squeeze me, okay, cool. What an awesome shimmer to have in this project. I've used it a lot, like several times before. It's kind of like a creamsicle-y orange. So I don't think it'll take too long to hit pan on it. It kind of has a goldiness to it. You see, it's so cute. It's this beautiful, like it looks sweet. It's a sweet little orange with some shimmer going on. I'm so happy that's part of this project. So happy. And now the next one is 184. Four. It's Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance. Okay, I believe Red Ochre is this one. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This video is going to go on forever. I don't want Red Ochre because to me they're like too similar. I know this one's a little bit brighter red, but they're both brownie red. So I'm going to re-roll it. Don't care what you th think. This is like the messiest rolling in of shadows I've probably had. 62 is from the Domini Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette, and it's just chocolate mousse. So that's chocolate mousse from the Berries and Cream. I'm actually excited to have that in. This palette rolls in several times um, in my projects. It's already rolled in twice, but I love getting more use out of it. And this brown will be helpful in these other shadows, these oranges and that paper tiger. I think the brown will help be a great supporting role for all of these other shadows. Happy to get more use out of this for sure, this whole palette. These are rolling out and these are rolling in. This color story is super cute. Like this almost looks like it could be from a palette. I'm excited that I got these done. I'm excited that I hit pan on so many things, even though I was incredibly busy. I'm glad I'm able to film this update. I don't know when I'll be able to film again because even though this weekend feels like I'm in control, I don't know what next week is gonna feel like for me. I'm so glad that I'm able to do this. I will try to do more if I'm able to, but yeah. Hope you're doing well mentally and physically. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Ooh, do I have glitter in my hair? No. Could be dandruff. <laughs>